In today's presentation, we embark on an extraordinary voyage into the domain of elevated vibration existence, a concept that surpasses the mundane and unlocks pathways to a life of genuine authenticity and deep spiritual connectivity. This journey isn't solely about navigating the physical realm with elegance and optimism it's about delving into a profound layer of being enriched with spiritual vitality and consciousness. Taking inspiration from the wisdom of Dolores Cannon, a revered luminary in the exploration of spiritual phenomena, we delve into the core of what it signifies to reside at an elevated vibrational frequency. Cannon's insights illuminate the profound influence our energy and consciousness wield over our daily encounters and engagements. She proposed that each person emits a distinctive vibrational energy shaped by our thoughts, emotions, and spiritual wellness. As we scrutinize the indications of inhabiting a heightened vibrational frequency, we will observe how these principles are not abstract theories but palpable realities manifested in our day to day lives. From our interactions with others to the internal odyssey of self awareness, every facet of our existence is imbued with the vibrational energy we exude. Sign 1 Radiating a vibrant aura in the realm of elevated vibrational existence. The initial sign is unmistakably a compelling presence that ensnares and captivates the attention of those nearby. Individuals embodying this elevated vibration emanate an aura of assurance and positivity, palpable not only internally but also visibly radiating outward. It's an energy that permeates the surroundings, creating an almost tangible ambience of warmth and approachability. Cannon's teachings on energy fields provide profound insights into this phenomenon. But Dolores Cannon, each individual emits an energetic field or aura that extends beyond the confines of the physical body. This aura isn't merely a symbolic notion it's a tangible and dynamic energy perceivable by others whether consciously or subconsciously. The aura of someone vibrating at a high frequency is imbued with positive energy, rendering it more radiant and captivating. This energetic presence often draws the attention and piques the curiosity of others. Cannon's concept resonates with her belief in how spiritual energy can influence the physical realm. She posits that the energy we emanate mirrors our inner landscape our thoughts, emotions, and spiritual well-being. When operating at a heightened vibrational frequency, one's internal positivity manifests externally, making their presence magnetic. This magnetic allure goes beyond superficial attraction it's an intuitive recognition by others of the positive and uplifting energy high vibrational individuals bring forth, highlighting the interconnectedness of all beings through a web of energy. Sign 2 balancing divine masculine and feminine energies in the pursuit of a high vibrational life. A pivotal sign is the harmonious integration of both divine masculine and feminine energies. This integration entails a profound understanding and authentic expression of these energies in their purest essence, transcending societal stereotypes. The divine feminine embodies attributes like abundance, self-love, vulnerability and receptivity an inner richness that naturally extends to nurturing life around us. This energy challenges the misconception that femininity equates solely to self-sacrifice, advocating instead for a balance that nourishes without depleting one's own resources. Conversely, the divine masculine embodies a blend of assertiveness, empathy, and respect. Contrary to societal norms associating masculinity with emotional suppression and aggression, the divine masculine embraces calculated risk-taking, confidence, and emotional authenticity. It encourages standing up for oneself and others with courage and bravery, emphasizing that vulnerability and emotional expression are signs of strength, not weakness. Balancing both these archetypes contributes significantly to our vibrational frequency. The divine feminine fosters openness, receptivity, and nurturing while the divine masculine empowers action, defending just causes, and instilling confidence in decision making. Embracing and honoring both aspects lead to a more harmonious and authentic expression of ourselves, fostering a balanced and elevated vibrational state. Within us lies the understanding that each energy a masculine and feminine ear possesses unique strengths and contributions to our overall well-being. As we endeavor to balance these energies, 
we draw closer to our authentic selves, elevating our vibrational frequency and enriching our experience of life. Sign 3, Authenticity irritates toxic people Another less discussed yet equally significant sign of being a high vibrational individual is how authenticity can often irk toxic individuals. This arises from the inherent clash between the sincerity of authentic living and the insincerity that characterizes toxic behavior. Individuals grounded in their truth and authenticity inadvertently provoke those who are not at peace with themselves or rely on manipulation and negative patterns. Dolores's teachings shed light on this dynamic, emphasizing vibrational mismatches. Each person operates at a certain vibrational frequency, which can either harmonize with or disrupt others. High vibrational individuals, often embodying qualities like honesty and integrity, naturally operate at higher frequencies, which can unsettle those existing in lower, negative states. The presence of someone living authentically acts as a mirror to toxic individuals, reflecting back the personal work they have yet to address. This mirroring can be uncomfortable and irritating for those unwilling to confront their truths. Higher frequencies tend to disrupt lower ones, creating energetic clashes. While unintentional, this disturbance is a natural consequence of differing energies coming into contact. This sign underscores the importance of authenticity as a form of spiritual and personal integrity. Living authentically isn't just about staying true to oneself it's also about upholding a space of higher vibrational energy that can inspire positive changes in others. For those experiencing irritation, it can catalyze self-reflection and personal growth even amidst initial discomfort or resistance. Sign 4, Animals feel safe around you. A hallmark of individuals vibrating at higher frequencies is the remarkable sense of comfort and trust that animals often exhibit in their presence. This characteristic serves as a testament to the profound nonverbal connection shared among all living beings a connection deeply appreciated and honored by those operating at elevated energetic levels. Animals with their innate sensitivity to surrounding energies, are particularly attuned to the vibrations emitted by humans. They can discern, with remarkable accuracy, the intentions and emotional states of the individuals they encounter. When an animal feels safe and relaxed around someone, it signals that the individual is emanating a vibration of peace, love, and harmony. This feeling of security goes beyond mere physical cues like a gentle touch or soothing voice it's a deeper acknowledgement of a benevolent and nurturing energy field. Dolores Cannon's teachings shed light on the significance of this bond. She underscored the importance of nonverbal communication and energy exchange between living beings, emphasizing that every interaction involves an exchange of energy. High vibrational individuals with their heightened spiritual awareness, are attuned to these subtle energies. They naturally emit a frequency of compassion and understanding that animals instinctively respond to. Furthermore, Cannon's concept of spiritual ecology emphasizes the interconnectedness of all life forms, highlighting the vital role each creature plays in maintaining the natural balance. High vibrational individuals inherently grasp and embody this principle. Their interactions with animals are rooted in a deep respect for life and a profound understanding of the natural harmony within the ecosystem. This respectful and loving approach towards animals not only benefits the creatures themselves but also contributes to the individual's spiritual journey. The mutual exchange of trust and affection between high vibrational individuals and animals serves as a beautiful manifestation of the unity and interconnectedness shared among all beings. Sign 5, Strangers feel compelled to share personal stories. One of the more captivating indicators of being a high vibration individual is the frequency with which strangers may feel moved to divulge their personal stories to them. This phenomenon stems from the compassionate and empathetic nature inherent in high vibration individuals, creating a safe and inviting space for others. It's as if their aura extends an invisible invitation for openness and trust. The empathetic nature of these individuals goes beyond mere understanding it resonates profoundly with the emotions and experiences of others. They naturally exude an energy of warmth and genuine concern, making people around them, even those they've just met, feel acknowledged, heard, 
and valued. This sense of safety and acceptance often encourages strangers to open up and share aspects of their lives that they might not typically discuss with someone they've just met. Dolores Cannon's teachings about soul connections provide a deeper context to this occurrence. Every encounter we have is an opportunity for a soul connection, an exchange of energy that can be meaningful and transformative. High vibration individuals, often operating with a heightened sense of spiritual awareness, are adept at recognizing these connections. They engage with others in a way that honors the spiritual essence within each person. This acknowledgement of spiritual energy in everyday encounters can make these interactions deeply fulfilling for both parties. Furthermore, the uplifting and optimistic presence of high vibration individuals naturally encourages others to open up. Their positive outlook on life can be contagious providing a sense of hope and possibility that others find appealing and comforting. When someone radiates such positivity, it can illuminate the environment, making it easier for others to drop their guards and share their experiences and perspectives. Sign 6, Influencing the Energy of a Room The ability to influence the energy of a room is a significant sign of a high vibration individual. This phenomenon is not merely about making an entrance it's about the subtle yet powerful energy shift that occurs when such a person enters a space. High vibration people carry with them an aura of positivity and peace that can be felt almost immediately upon their arrival. This energy shift is palpable, often altering the dynamics of the room changing moods, and uplifting the collective atmosphere. Dolores Cannon's teachings on the power of collective consciousness provide insightful context to this phenomenon. She believed that each person's energy field contributes to the collective energy of a group. When someone with high vibrational energy enters a room, they bring with them a higher frequency that can elevate the collective consciousness of the group. This elevation is often subtle, manifesting as a feeling of lightness increased positivity, or a sense of calm. It's a testament to how individual energy fields can significantly influence group dynamics. Cannon also emphasized the interconnectedness of all beings and the impact of individual energy fields on the collective. A high vibration person often unconsciously radiates an energy that is in harmony with universal energies. This harmony can bring balance and positivity to a space aligning the energies of those present with higher frequencies. The effect can be likened to a tuning fork, where the vibration of one can bring others into a similar resonance. Moreover, the aura carried by high vibration individuals often serves as a catalyst for positivity. Their mere presence can inspire others to shift towards a more positive mindset, encourage more mindful interactions, and foster a more harmonious environment. This impact is often unintentional, it's a natural byproduct of their authentic way of being and their alignment with higher spiritual frequencies. Sign 7 Unintentional Envy from Others. The seventh sign of being a high vibrational individual is the unintentional envy that may arise in others who observe the fulfilling and authentic life led by such individuals. This envy is often a subconscious reaction to witnessing someone live in a state of high vibrational alignment, exuding happiness, peace, and a sense of purpose. While these qualities are inherently positive, they can sometimes trigger feelings of envy in those who may be struggling with their own personal journeys. Dolores Cannon's teachings on soul growth and evolution provide a valuable perspective on this phenomenon. According to Cannon, each soul is on its own unique path of development and faces different challenges and lessons along the way. When someone observes a high vibrational individual living a life that seems harmonious and fulfilled, it can highlight their own areas of dissatisfaction or unfulfilled potential. This contrast can be both inspiring and challenging, serving as a reminder of what is possible but also of what has not yet been achieved in their own lives. Cannon suggested that witnessing high vibrational living acts as a mirror, reflecting back to individuals their own spiritual and personal states. The envy that arises is less about the person they are observing and more about their own internal struggles and aspirations. It signifies areas where they may need to focus on their growth and development. In this way, 
The envy experienced is not a negative reflection on the high vibrational individual but rather an indication of the observer's inner work and journey. It's important to reinforce that this envy is not a flaw or a failing of the high vibrational individual rather, it's an inevitable part of the diverse tapestry of human experience and spiritual evolution. High vibrational living, by its very nature, challenges norms and pushes boundaries, which can sometimes be confronting for others. Sign 8, Natural Connection with Children The eighth sign of being a high vibrational individual is a profound and natural connection with children. Children, in their essence, are embodiments of purity and simplicity. They operate on frequencies that are unencumbered by the complexities and biases that often cloud adult perceptions. This intrinsic purity makes children exceptionally sensitive to the energy fields around them. They are naturally drawn to individuals whose vibrations resonate with authenticity and positivity. Delving into the energy fields of children, as illuminated by Dolores Cannon, provides a deeper comprehension of this bond. She suggests that children possess open and unfiltered energy fields, enabling them to perceive and be influenced by surrounding energies more directly than adults. In essence, they serve as natural detectors of authenticity. When encountering someone with high vibrational energy, children intuitively discern the purity and truth within that energy, fostering an immediate bond of trust and affection. High vibrational individuals often resonate with this unfiltered, innocent perception of children, sharing a similar clarity and simplicity in their approach to life, even amidst the complexities of adulthood. This resonance transcends mere childlikeness it's about embodying authenticity and genuine positivity that children instinctively recognize and respond to. Children, in their intuitive wisdom, are attracted to individuals who reflect their innate truths finding comfort and joy in the presence of those who are emotionally and energetically available and transparent. This connection between high vibrational individuals and children embodies a shared frequency of simplicity, honesty, and joy, extending beyond superficial playfulness or demeanor. It represents a deeper energetic alignment that fosters meaningful and enriching interactions between adults and children. Through their authentic way of being, High vibrational people tap into the same frequency that children operate on, creating a harmonious and nurturing exchange. It's a cyclical flow of energy where purity, joy, and authenticity are both given and received, demonstrating the profound and positive impact of high vibrational living on the younger generation. As we conclude today's video, we reflect on the transformative journey of living a high vibrational life. Living at a high vibrational frequency isn't merely an aspiration it's a practice that entails embracing authenticity, nurturing a deep connection with both the living world and the spiritual realm, and maintaining a state of consciousness that uplifts ourselves and others. The signs we've explored serve as tangible manifestations of this elevated way of living, reminding us of the potential each of us holds to positively influence the world. Amidst life's complexities, let's remember the power of our vibrational energy. Let's strive to live authentically, resonate with love and positivity, and embrace the unique journey each of us is on. In doing so, we contribute to a world where high vibration living is not just a concept but a reality experienced by many. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of high vibration living. May this journey inspire you to cultivate a life of deep spiritual connection, authenticity, and positivity.